What is going on, my beautiful people? This is a kid's toy. It's called the Razor Pocket Mod. You can get this at Walmart or Target or maybe even Amazon for like 350 bucks. I got it used off of Facebook Marketplace because it's not working. It did come with the front wheel and forks and handlebars, so everything looked intact when I got it. But I did some stuff to the forks, so that's why there's no wheel on there right now. But I'll explain that later. For now, let's check out what this kid's toy looks like. Look how freaking awesome it is. It looks like a baby Vespa. I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for when they created this design with the plastics. But it looks awesome. I've always thought those vintage scooters were so cool. It even has a center stand. That's so cool. It has storage underneath the seat. Oh no, it tipped over. Yeah, so there's storage underneath the seat. I might put the controller in there, I might not. It would be the perfect place to put like a, a burrito and a beer or something, you know? <laughs> so I got big plans for this baby Vespa in terms of upgrades. But first, we're gonna have to take off all the plastic and see what the, the scooter looks like while it's naked. Let's take the seat out. That's what the batteries look like. It looks like two packs in there. Do they parallel it? Hmm. Interesting. So let's take a look at what we got in here. So this says electric controller, 24 volts. Maximum current, 30 amps. 30 amps is a decent amount. I think this scooter can go like 15 miles per hour when you buy it from the store. I think. It is meant for like little kids, you know? Little kids shouldn't be going 20. So the stock batteries say 12 volts, 7 amp hours. Is each one 7 amp hours? So it's 14 amp hours. <laughs> 12 volts, that's crazy. That's so small. That's so little. That's like what they use for uh, lights, you know, 12 volt lights. Let's take out the rest of the plastics now. Okay, the scooter is pretty much stripped now, but before we take off the motor and the, the wheel, I wanted to show you guys what I did to the forks. So check this out. This fork from like here down is actually from a, a Jetson bolt. The reason why I had to change the, the forks was because the stock forks did not come with a brake mount. So you need this thing here to put on a caliper so that you have stopping power. When you use the Jetson Bolt fork, the problem is that it's too short. So what we did was cut the original stock forks and then welded it to the new forks. I didn't do the welding, it was Jorge. Jorge is pretty much the mechanic for E-Crew and he's in like the Long Beach LA area. So if you guys need any work done on your bikes or you need any modifications, he's the guy to go to. He's helped me out a ton. So shout out to you, Jorge. I should spray paint this to keep it from rusting because it is exposed steel. But I don't think I'm gonna be using this scooter that much, especially when it's wet outside. So I think I'll be okay. So yeah, this is a Jetson Bolt Pro fork. And this part right here is from the stock fork. You just gotta cut it and then weld it. You know, I've never worked with a mid-drive before, so even removing the wheel is kind of new to me.
think we broke some plastic. That's probably not the way you take off a mid-drive wheel, but I'm gonna gut this thing anyway, so it doesn't matter if I break stuff. And this is what the wheel looks like. I'm not gonna use any part of this. You can see there's webs all up in here. <laughs> this was definitely a kid's toy. It actually belonged to a little girl. <laughs> so the mom wanted 80 bucks for it. And she wasn't sure if it was working or not. When I got there to test it out, I told her she could charge it and she tried plugging it in. It wouldn't charge and it wouldn't work. So then I said, hey, you know, this thing's not working. You know, how about 60? And she agreed. I gotta take out this motor. How do we do that from the bottom? Dang, this is a hefty little guy. This thing is dense. This is my first time holding a mid-drive. Now, now we have a fully naked frame. I'm gonna go clean this up because it is so dusty and dirty. Look at my hands. <laughs> it already looks so much more red because the dirt was washing off. Check this out the bottom of the frame where the paint was scratched off you can see a tiny bit of rust forming it's a little alarming you know because rust doesn't rust eat away at metal this is not a long-term vehicle for me this is gonna be a little fun project after a few months I'm probably gonna take the parts out and use it for a different build so I don't need it to last me years, you know? So I'm not that worried about the rust. I mean, this frame was only 60 bucks with the plastics on. I think it was a fair value, right? A non-working Razer Pocket Mod. But then again, I'm not that big in the Razer community, so I don't know what fair prices are. Okay, I think that's good enough. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just a little wipe down. It's way better than when we first got it. I'll tell you that. Now when I grab the frame, my hand doesn't turn black. <laughs> okay, now that we cleaned everything up and we gutted the frame, let's talk about our plans. I'm hoping that I can put the controller back right here and just zip tie it to the frame. If not, I'm gonna have to put it in that center storage underneath the seat. It's gonna be like somewhere right here. I would rather not do that because I like that storage area you know, you can put things in there. You can put your wallet, your keys, a burrito, anything you want. But if I have to do it, I will. I'm gonna use my Dremel, cut this battery tray out, and then grind or sand down the sharp edges. And I'm thinking I put a foam piece right here, a thick foam piece, so it can level out with this piece right here. And I can lay the battery across, going through the frame. So the battery, will be from inside here, going through here, and entering the frame. I'm gonna have to cut out this piece too. And then for the motor, you know, the motor just slides in. It's a hub motor, so super simple. And that's pretty much gonna be it. I'm gonna call it here. This is part one. Part two of the video is gonna be pretty much me building it. And then part three is gonna be the final overview. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and a like. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.